Hey, folks, let's get that two-minute rundown on what's happening here in the North Shore of Long Island. Fishing is outrageous. We're all about the striped bass. Whether you're trolling, whether you're working top water plugs, uh, pulling uh, stick shads, working shads, uh, you know, rubber shads with lead heads. The fishing's lights out. It's just unbelievable. The chunking bite, wow. They're on the chunks. These fish are just ready to eat. They are moving. It's stacked up everywhere. I have to say, it's probably like, some of the best striped bass fishing. And I know I'm always giving positive reports, you know, but I have to say, this is just outrageous. And uh, with the bluefish that have moved in, seeing bluefish from like mm, 11 pounds right up to around 15, 14 pounds, uh, and they're ripping all right, all over the place. Uh, there are sparse, like spread out, uh, schools of bunkers. So whether you're going out to 11B, uh, sitting out by the cable anchor reef, or you're like heading uh, to the west by 15 or uh, to the east halfway shelf uh, down in Esquag River, there's, uh, there's a lot of options. You're going to see nice electronics, just how many fish along the way. You don't even have to go for long journeys. You just have to keep your eyes out. And then, um, you know, just just use a lot of different methods. If you're drifting, you could be doing bucktails. You could be jigging, pulling wire, like I said. There's just so many options. These fish are on the feed bag. And we came off of uh, a hot new moon. Uh, we're a few days off the new moon now. What, about four or five? And uh, new moon in June on the North Shore, baby. It is crazy. If you're a surf caster, that whole midnight shift, that was really amazing. The night shift crew, they were like, eating it up and really knocking out these fish if you're out on the boat forget about it it's uh you know and uh just look at the pictures from all our customers and uh, a lot of people we get fish on too and it's just great to share this awesome memories as in the mix now we haven't spoken much about porgies because the porgies have been like really slim to none it's uh it's tough on the outside of the sound that's where we've seen the heavier ones on the way down towards the nesquad river off of some of the golf courses, that seems to be the heaviest population of porgies. And you can't miss them because it seems like every party boat from Connecticut and the Western Sound is set up in these areas. It's really um, quite uncanny to look at. And uh, of course, we have our whole local fleet here. And uh, the porgy fishing, they've been pretty good. Although with that much pressure, you think they might sparse. It looks like they're starting to move down into the shores as they have the sand eel patch just happened down for our neck of woods down at eaton's neck a lot of sand eels these fish are spitting them up like crazy and then you go right back down towards stony brook area and the sand eels are still going strong you're pulling up a gorgeous looking fluke in 10 to 15 feet of water sometimes eight you're watching it very visual a lot of sight fishing and what else can i say wow you know haven't seen sea bass yet only small ones they're coming up what 23rd of june so uh if you catch one better put it back and uh, fluke, just, you know, you got to move around with these fluke. So uh, that's generally what you're seeing. Those mackerel, I haven't seen as many mackerel. Uh, bunker are scarce, but the bunker chunk bite is fierce. Uh, that's why we sell a lot of bunker at the shop. Really fresh stuff. It's been good. Uh, both shops stocked up with all the gear and uh, stuff you need to get out there and get some success. So uh, keep on going. And uh, I love those Google reviews. Please give them. And um, it's always great to see you at one of our shops. As always, I bid you all peace and tight lines.